Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> okay, okay. How many play how many players do we have? Do we have? How many players do I have? I think we have one, Chris. Bank, banks. Flying solo, huh? Solo, huh? Oh, so the sounds a bit dodgy. Wow, okay. Yeah, I do. I do need some instructions. Here we go. <laughs> go away. I don't know why I'm playing this game. Okay, let's play. I thought it'd be different, so I thought, fuck it, let's go for it. My first question. Let's take a look at your first question. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Alright, loading screen. Oh. Don't take any wooden. Oh, you got. According to a common piece of advice, don't take any wooden. Any wooden. Will it make sense to be spoons? I'm gonna go with spoons, Chris. You wanna select answer C? Yep, I do. <laughs> Let's see what you should have done. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <coughs> I don't know what that is. I'm Regis. Sure why we bother giving you a check for zero dollars, but uh, here it is. Regis. Up next time on, who wants to be a millionaire? Very good edition. <laughs> I can't believe I failed that the first question. That is how stupid I really am. A person who speaks without much thought is often said to shoot from the nose, the shoulder, the hip, or the foul line. I'm gonna go with shoot from the hip, Regis. Final answer? Yes, Regis. It is Regis. You think D is right? Yep, I got no I think so. That makes sense. You are correct. Yeah! <laughs> One hundred dollars. Why is this not the English version, though? That's one hundred dollars, and even that score will put you at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Let's try again. Let's go again. According to a popular phrase, a person who achieves success through others is riding their sidecar, golden goose, rickshaw, riding their rickshaw, cotton coattails, uh, riding in their. It's going to be coattails, there, Regis. Final. I'm, I'm fairly certain, Regis. It's that one. I'm fairly certain, Regis. You think D is right? I do think that, Regis. When you're right, you're right. You're still nowhere near Chris Tarrant's level of awesome. Hey, you've got the two hundred dollars, but don't stop now. Here's your three hundred dollar question. Okay, this is amazing. The word brunch. Ah, oh, this one's easy, there. This one's easy, Regis. Regis, I've got this. Breakfast and lunch. No, you're pretty sure it's A. I'm damn sure it's A. It's not back and hunch, it's not bread and munch, and it's not right. break and crunch. What ridiculous answer is that? It's amazing. Three down, but twelve to go. And here's your next question. Worth five hundred dollars. Oh, shame it's not real. If only I could dream. This makes me kind of sad, in a way. According to a popular phrase, the one who challenges another person is said to throw down the mallet, the top hat, the bone, or the gauntlet. Well, Regis, uh, this is a tough one, you see. My, uh, my 1922 era knowledge would say that when they have a duel, they're going to throw the gauntlet down. Are you sure that you're I'm fairly certain there, Regis. Thank you, Regis. You're fine with answer B. Okay. Because they're not throwing the mallet down. Right. Oh yeah. You're doing really a terrific job. I am. Thank this you, Regis. Is worth one thousand dollars. I love you, Regis. In the game Rock Paper Scissors, in what shape is your hand held to signify a rock? Well, let me think about that. Let's play rock, rock, paper. Scissors. So it's going to be uh, a closed fist there, Regis. You I'm like fairly certain. A, huh? Fair enough. I'm fairly certain that's what a rock it. looks like. I'm flying. I could be a millionaire. Wow. Terrific. That's five questions in a row for one thousand dollars. And I got my life funds. Here it is for two thousand dollars. Let's go, Regis. I'm feeling good. It was amazing. 
Which of these games is a boneyard? Oh shit, I don't know. Uh it uh, Let's test these lifelines out, shall we? Let's go with the audience. I'm gonna ask the audience, Regis. Oh, I don't know if I can A, they think A. They think dominoes. I hope that was helpful. It sure didn't seem like it from here. Nope, me neither. Me neither, Regis. Clock, please. All right, Regis, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with the, go with the team here. You're gonna listen to the audience. I am. Eh? I am, Regis. I, I, I trust these guys. These people all night. So right. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank you, Regis. I'm just lucky to be able to take my wife on holiday. We're gonna go to uh. Excellent. British Columbia. How are you doing this next question? Worth four thousand dollars. If I can get to sixteen thousand dollars, Regis, I plan on going to uh, on a round the world cruise with my fiance and my wife, rather. Man, this game's got a slow frame rate. In 1997, the Lifetime Cable Network began broadcasting what professional sports? I don't fucking know. The Lifeline Lifetime Cable. What the hell is that? All right, it's uh. Well, let's see if a lifeline can help you out here. Uh, let's... I've got no idea there, Regis. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. Shut you up, Regis. Fine. Shut up, Regis. I'm trying to think here. Okay, which lifeline... I'm going to phone a friend, I Regis. I Dan should know this one. Let's give him a call. Auto shop Dan speaking. Hey, it's Regis. How are things out at the shop? Oh, not bad. Money's coming in. We're getting ahead of schedule and we're not behind. Hey, that's good news. How are you anyway? What the fuck is good. this conversation? Say, I don't suppose you could answer a quick question for us. Yeah, I guess. What is it? Okay, we've just got 30 seconds here. Here we go. Uh, what the fuck? Jeez, I wish I had Beetle here for a couple of extra gray cells. Uh, well, I guess I'd better answer. Let's say it's B just for kicks and cranes. We really Regis. appreciate your comments. Regis! I'll see you later. You're really? Right, Regis. Bye now. He likes the look of ants of B. But the women's he basketball. Is. I'm gonna have to go 50 50 again. Up, huh? I do, because this is. I don't even know. I don't so even know. Go ahead. We'll I don't know. If it's that, I'm taking sure it. The correct answer is still on screen. Oh. Well, hopefully that made it a bit easier. For oh, me. well, I'm gonna have to follow up. Uh, Dan. I'm trusting Dan here. Come on, Dan. Well, okay. Glad that phone call wasn't a total waste. Shut up, Bridges. That's right. Ah, oh, I wasted a lifeline. Well, I'm, I'm so stupid. These are all such weird questions. Well, that's four thousand dollars, and I here's a chance to make it eight thousand. Take a look at this one. Come on, we got for me, Regis. This is going to be a cracker. What magazine features household hints in a section titled "Good Things"? Uh, Vanity Fair, In Style, Martha Stewart Living, or Good Housekeeping. I don't fucking know. Why would I know that? Uh, well, Regis, I haven't even heard of one of these. I've heard of Vanity Fair as well. But I'm going to go with Good Housekeeping, Regis. Final? Uh, why not? Fuck it. D looks like the correct answer to you. Come on. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh. Here's the correct answer. Was it Vanity Fair? Oh, how the f Martha Stewart living? Hey, hey, not too shabby. Good well, job. You finished at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Going again. I think I'll time for one more in this video. I'm not it's gonna be. I don't know actually. Let's keep going. To be a millionaire. edition. Yeah, Regis. Let's keep going. Let's play again. Please be easy. What is a term for a platform where a rocket sits as it begins its journey into space? A mouse pad, a notepad, a bachelor pad, or a launch pad. Well, I've been playing a lot of Curl's Post program, so I'm going to have to go with launch pad. All right, you think answer B looks. I know it's launch pad. I've played Curl's Space program. And you're right. It says to the launch pad. I'm going to the launch pad for the hundred dollars. One hundred dollars is yours, but you barely broke a sweat on that one. Oh, I know. Don't worry, they're going to get a lot harder than that. I promise you. Got my Curl's Space program experience to think for that. What type of powder is typically contained in a powder keg? Foot powder, talcum powder, baking powder, or gun powder? Uh, foot powder is in a, 
the tar. Baking powder is in a package. Talcum powder tends to be in the little shaky bottle, so I'm going to go with gum powder there, Ridges. Are you sure that's your final answer? I'm fairly certain, Ridges. I bet I'm wrong, though. <laughs> You're selecting answer A. Well observed. You are correct. That was that's great. The shit, two hundred pounds, two hundred dollar question. Chance to continue on with the next question. Here we go. Which of these expressions is likely to be said to use to compliment someone's gene? They're fat, they're fishy, they're freaky. Which of these expressions is likely to be used to compliment someone's stylish new genes? They're fishy, they're filbin, they're freaky, they're going to be fat. I think. You think D is right. Okay. Unless he's freaky. You are so right. <laughs> these fucking questions are ridiculous. As soon as he gets past that thousand dollars, I'm fucked. Twelve more to go. For five hundred bucks, here's the next question. By definition, a person with a short fuse is eagerly, eagerly, easily a mocked, tricked, healed, or angered. Well, uh, I think it's angered there, Regis. I'm going to go with angered. You like the look of answer A, huh? Fair enough. You got it. Cush day. Let's keep it going. Sounds as a pan, Regis. Sounds as a pan. Let's get to that thousand dollar mark. Now for your thousand dollar question and a chance to reach the first safe haven. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Regis. When Priceline.com launched in 1988, uh, customers to name your own price for what? Well, Priceline sounds a lot like airline. I must say it does. Doctor visit, it's not going to be that, because you won't pay, pay for that. You'd pay for talk. Fuck it. I think it's C. I've never heard of it before in my life. Answer C seems like the one to go with. But it sounds oh. like the, it sounds like you would... That's right. Christy, it, it made sense. That one made sense. I didn't know the answer, but it made sense. Priceline.com in 1998. I was like, what? 10? Hey, that's one grand for your effort so far. Your next question, worth twice that much. Oh, 2,000 imaginary dollars. Big whoop. Which of the following actors was not a regular cast of the member of the television drama sent elsewhere? I don't know this fucking crap. I need to use, I need to call Prudence again. Just, let's call my agent friend, Bernie. He might know this. Bernie? Why is it your friend? It should be my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Bernie, how are things out there in Tinseltown? Terrific. I'm finding new talent all the time. In fact, I have a terrific dog and iguana act that would go great on your morning show. Well, that sounds great, but we're <laughs> who just the looking fuck's, to help Who scripted this shit? Paper. Oh, don't worry, Regis. It's a very classy act. Honestly, we have people who do the bookings. Bernie, please, I'm just calling with a question. Oh, well, I can do that, too. But what's the question? Here's the question. You've got a half a minute. Go for it. Which of the following actors was oh, not a regular cast? It's one of my favorite shows. I wouldn't dream of calling anyone but you for a question like this. My professional opinion is to go with answer D. Thanks okay. for the opinion. Sound. See you later. Certainly, Reach. Bye-bye. Reach. He's saying answer D. Do you agree? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Reach. <laughs> Let's go with it, Reach. <laughs> why not, Reach? <laughs> Reach. Yeah, fuck it. Going to agree with my friend? Fine. Yeah. Don't be wrong. Why does my friend help much? Wow. Correct. Here's the answer we were looking for. How? Yeah. yeah. Well, I made a thousand well again. Too, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Miss that one, and you're dropped down to one thousand. No. You're sure to improve on that if you come back again and play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Thanks, Rage. Dipshit. Well, guys, uh, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> American, America. I, th I thought this was the English version. I was wrong. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want some more, I'll wait for this train to go past. If you want to see some more, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Third edition with Rage and myself. Please uh, leave a leave a note. Leave a note. Leave a comment in the section provided. And I will see you soon.